our sophomore year, the second week that we, after we played Banning, man, we was going against Chris Howard, and uh, he was, I think he was like number one running back in the nation at the time. And uh, we had the number one defense at the time, so that was a big matchup that week. And uh, our defense held it down. I had a great game. It was the first uh, first time playing on TV on Fox Sports. And uh, yeah, I tore it up. So that next week, I got a I got an offer from UCLA and SC. And I was only a sophomore, so but they won. You know, they got at me early. And my whole my whole experience, man, it was pretty. You know, back then we didn't have as much uh, publicity or we didn't have as many tools or resources to like get out there. So basically Fox Sports was all we had. And, and probably, at the, you know, I was fortunate enough to go to a good high school that got a lot of, got, got a lot of attention. So uh, yeah, it was, it was my experience, man. I didn't have to do too much. All I had to do was, uh, you know, ball out on the field. And I basically got recruited by every school in the country. Uh, Cause I was at one of the best high schools during the time in the country. We were like ranked two in the nation. You know, it was uh, debates of one or two, and uh, I was stopping. I was starting since my sophomore year, so uh, that was, was it was pretty big, man. And uh, I got offers from from all over. Um, I kind of knew exactly where I wanted to go, so I narrowed it down real early. You know, I, I knew I wanted to stay in the Pac-10. I was a big Pac-10. It was Pac-10 at the time. I wanted to stay on the West Coast. Uh, so there was only a few schools that I was interested in. You know, I was fortunate enough to have that uh, <coughs> to have that option. So uh, I only took trips to to Washington, UCLA, SC, and Oregon. So going through the process is is take all your trips, take all your trips, uh, have keep an open mind because the the number one thing that helps you with with homesickness because yeah, i don't even when even i was i'm from long beach and i went to sc you still get homesick you know I, I was still getting homesick just being being out of my city so but the what helped me with that was being at a school that kind of kind of reminded me of home just like the environment you know the environment reminded me of home uh the, the guys on the team reminded me of home so anytime you take your trips man you just get that good feeling in your stomach you're gonna get a feeling in your stomach and you're gonna feel a comfort when you're there and uh, that, that's probably, you know, you got to try to listen to that voice inside of you. And, uh, you know, you, you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused on what the what the main goal is. You know, you don't want to you don't want to be in a place where you think that it may be too many distractions. And really, that could be anywhere. So it really doesn't matter. It's up to you to be disciplined, disciplined enough to, to sacrifice, you know, partying and all that. And uh, but, yeah, that, so during my time, man, it was uh, it was pretty it was pretty. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't so mind-boggling because I, I knew where I wanted to go. I knew the area, the demographic that I wanted to stay in. So I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't overwhelmed with trying to make a decision. It was either one of one of these four colleges, and that's where I was going. And my mom had a big part of making my decision because she almost disowned me if I didn't end up going to SC. I end. I actually, I actually decommitted from SC and said I was gonna to go to Oregon because Oregon blew my mind with the way their offensive scheme was running. So I was ready to ditch uh, Pete, Pete Carroll and I said, hey man, I'm going to Oregon because uh, Oregon got all these uniforms and they offense, both they got two rushers going over a thousand, but uh, Pete Carroll was relentless. He got after my mom and uh, my mom just was crying every day before signing day, man, when I told her I wanted to go to Oregon. She didn't want me to leave. So she had a big, big, big part of my decision and uh you know and i felt it in my heart man i knew sc was the place where i, I needed to be and wanted to go and uh we I ended up having a great career not, not particularly in stats but just as a team and um yeah man that, 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 was, uh, that was that was my recruiting experience it wasn't too wasn't too it wasn't too overwhelming or hectic you know if you you know if you have an idea where you want to go uh you know just narrow it down to that and uh, just go where you're comfortable, you know, go where you're comfortable and go where, go to the best place where you think that you can stay focused, you know, because that's the, that's the biggest thing. Once you go to college, you want to, you want a place that's going to keep you grounded. You want a place that's going to stay on top of you just the way your mother would, because if you don't know how to deal with your freedom, you'll go out there and you'll be easily distracted and you'll lose focus on what the main goal is. And that's to get it to graduate and to get to the NFL. So...
Uh, that's my advice right there. Herschel Dennis, USC running back, Long Beach Poly.